So do you think that a lot of people get story and business wrong? Um, yes, I think. Uh... So Nick, you, if anything, I've come from a storytelling background, but you come from a much more business shaped background. So tell me from your point of view, what, why do businesses need stories? Um, I, well, I think everybody, it's not just that we need stories, we're, we are using stories all the time and businesses are always using stories. But more and more, especially with social media and the way that the rise of content marketing, in business we're telling stories and thinking about stories more explicitly more and more. But what I found working with brands and businesses on helping them tell their own stories over years and years is like actually... Business isn't very good at being clear what it means by a story, of working out what its story needs. So I think it's really important that not just not just that businesses need stories and use stories, but that we get better at talking about them, working out what we want, knowing how they work, and having a sort of shared language, actually, which I think your book gives people about just how to talk about stories, how to brief people on what they want from a story, how just to become more articulate about what we want from our stories. So do you think that a lot of people get story and business wrong? Um, yes, I think uh, in a couple of ways. Like in the most fundamental way is by thinking they're telling a story and just not, mm -hmm. about either just calling something a story and then going on to use a sort of standard corporate blah or messaging or just you know list some facts or to sort of half use story to get the idea that a story needs say a protagonist um, and then start with that but not follow through so not have a convincing journey or not really not really give it a shape not really get all of the elements working hard um, and you wouldn't tolerate that in any other sort of thing that businesses do. They wouldn't do project management in the same way, mm. just forget to have some actions or some next steps. You wouldn't do marketing in that way. You wouldn't forget your call to action. And I think in storytelling, it should be the same. We should all know what we're talking about, what the elements are and how to use them properly. OK, so it's a discipline and it needs to start. Yeah, yeah.